In this video, I'll show you how to select multiple items from an Excel drop-down list. And I'll show you how to do that using a VBA script. So make sure your workbook is saved as a macro-enabled workbook and follow along. So as you can see, I have this drop-down item menu over here from which I want to be able to select multiple items within a drop-down list. So the first step is to create a basic drop-down list. And I will select any cell. For example, I'll select cell D2 for my drop-down list. The next step is going to the ribbon, data, data validation, and selecting data validation from this list. This drop box appears from which we have to select list. And the source is going to be the range you have in mind. In my case, the range is the A2 through A5 range. And after selecting that, I'll click on OK. So as you can see, I've created a very simple drop-down list from which I can currently only select one single value at a time. But what if I want to select multiple values? Say I want to be able to select multiple values and I want those values to be comma delimited. How do we do that? So we're going to be doing that using a VBA script. And that VBA script is currently displayed on the screen and it's also available in the description box of this video. So I will first apply the VBA script and then I'll also briefly explain how it works towards the end of this video. So uh, to do that, as explained earlier, we have to make sure that your workbook is saved as XLSM, that is as a macro enabled workbook. The next step is to right click on the tab to which you want to apply this VBA code. In this case, I want to apply it to sheet one. So I will right click on sheet one and I will go to view code. This visual basic page appears in which I will copy and paste the code. And I'll explain in a bit more detail how this works towards the end of the video. But the only thing you need to know now is the cell in which you want to apply the multi item feature to is this cell over here. So this is the cell you need to revise. If the cell in which your drop down list is located is not cell D2, you're going to have to change this cell. That said, I'm going to save and X out. So this feature has been applied. Now let's test it out. A, let's select B. There you go. We're getting exactly what we want. So we're able to select multiple items from this list and they're all comma delimited. Now let's try selecting C and let's select another item. Let's say D. And as you can see, we're able to select one or a few or as many items as you wanted from this list. And this is exactly what we want. Now let's just clear it and try something else. Let's try it in a different order. Let's say we want to select C and then A. As you can see, we were able to successfully do that using a very simple macro and no, no further action is required. All we have to do is select what we want and we can select as many items as we want and we can select them as many times as we want. So there's no limit. We can select one item more than one time if we please. And that's how it works. So now that uh, we've applied this VBA code, I'm going to briefly explain how the code works. So I'm going to go to the Visual Basic Editor again, and now I'm gonna briefly explain how it works. So the code is broken down into five main parts. The first part checks the cells and does a validation. So this part checks that the changes are made in cell D2, as I explained a bit earlier, and that this cell has data validation. That is, it has a drop-down list in it. So that's the first part. The second part, disables extra actions. This part disables other Excel events temporarily, and it ensures that any errors during the process do not stop the macro from running. The third part of the code saves and retrieves values. The new value is stored first, then the application.undo, that is this part, is used to revert to the old value, which is then stored. So that's the third part of the code. Moving on to the fourth part, this is the part that combines old and new values. That is, this section checks if there was already a value in the cell, and it concatenates the new value with the old one using a comma. Now, if the cell was empty, it only sets it to the new value. And the fifth and final part, it re-enables actions, and that's the application.enableEvents equal to true. 
This part re-enables Excel's normal event handling after the cell has been updated. And these are the five basic parts that comprise this VBA code. As mentioned before, the only thing you need to do here is to change your reference. That is the cell in which the dropdown list is being applied to. You have to change it from cells D2 to any other cell you want to apply this VBA code to. And as you can see, it's a very convenient feature and it allows selection of multiple dropdown list items inside of a dropdown list, which is not natively available in Excel. And this is a very neat trick and this is how it's done. I hope you found this video useful and got some value out of it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications so you won't miss out on my future videos.